Alright, so let us continue onward. I believe you were in court. Yep. It is true I hid the body in the kitchen. Yes. A man forced me to do it. I had no choice. I had to go along with him because there was a reason why I could not refuse. But I did not kill him. I swear it. You must believe me. Well, I, I don't know if I must, but I do believe you. You were forced. By who? I... I cannot say. Or I will be erased. Let's try a different question then. When Mr. Elk died, was he really the only person at his table? There was... Oh... There was another man. Got him. I knew it. Maggie was telling the truth. You may cross-examine the witness now, Mr. Wright. There's just one more thing I need to do. I gotta break this guy and get him to tell us the name of the real killer. Mm -hmm. The confession cross-examination. It is true, I eat the body in the kitchen. Hold it. Did you carry the body by yourself? Ui, I carried him, and I carried Maggie too. Maggie too? When she saw the victim collapse, she fainted. I could not leave her there. But why did you hide the bodies? So the staging could happen? A man forced me to do it. I had no choice. Hold it. What man? Who was he? No, no, I cannot say. I fear for my life. He's really scared. You'll just have to put the words in his mouth, Nick. Yeah, you're right. If he won't tell me, I'll tell him. But why would you go along with this man? I had to go along with him because there was a reason why I could not refuse. What reason? And what reason would that be, Mr. Armstrong? You know, Monsieur. Yes? Surely you cannot expect a young maiden to talk about such an embarrassment. A maiden? You're a bit too old to get away with that. And a bit too male. I can't finish the cross-examination without establishing his reason. So I'll just have to prove it with evidence. Yeah, yeah, the loan contract. But I did not kill him. I swear it. You must believe me. Hold it. So you are claiming that all you did was hide the bodies. Is that correct? That's right. If we are to believe you, Mr. Armstrong, you must tell the court everything. You must make clear the identity of the man who ordered you to do this. Hmm. He's already confessed this much. He might as well stop dancing around the real issue. Yeah, but he really doesn't want to tell us who the killer is. Then suck it to him, Nick. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's what he will do. There was a reason. You know the reason is his, is his half a million dollar loan. So it's right there. The loan contract. You have a half a million dollar debt, don't you? Half a million dollars? Is this true, Mr. Armstrong? Oui, je suis désolé. I was weak and I borrowed la money. This is Mr. Armstrong's Achilles heel. And that's why you couldn't refuse anything asked of you by this man. 
Euro Tigre. A half million dollar loan from a black market loan shark. And you had no way of paying it back, did you? That's why you were forced to do anything this man told you. Hmm. Oui, it is as you say. Mr. Armstrong is confessing. La Tiger, he told me he was going to use my restaurant for a business rendezvous. On the day in question, he was meeting the victim to demand that he repay his loan. Yep. I don't know why it happened like that. He died. I just did what he told me to do. I had no choice. Well, you always have a choice. I carried the body and the in one second Maggie out of the dining area. And into the kitchen. After that, I just tried to forget what I had seen. I think we can now safely say that the man who forced your hand was Mr. Furo Tigre. Yep. Yeah. Hmm, I do have one further question for you, Mr. Armstrong. The poison and the lottery ticket that were found in the defendant's apron pocket. Was that your doing as well? No, I knew nothing about that. Making it look like it was Maggie who had done it. I was... I was not. It's dis despicable. Wait. Mr. Gadot. Hmm. You will summon this Furio Tigre as a witness. We do need him. I doubt that can be arranged for today, so we will adjourn for now. Proceedings will continue tomorrow. Does he just have him sitting here? Thirty minutes. Oh, okay. Just taking a little break. The what? The trial will go on. I'll see to it myself. I need half an hour to get that guy on the stand, not a minute more. Confident. You have dealings with him? Uh, how the... Don't sit back and relax yet, right? No one knows if that chef is really telling the truth or not. I mean, it makes sense. But my view. That this trial could still go either way. Very well, your request is granted, Mr. Kadot. We will resume once Mr. Tigre is ready to take the stand. In 30 minutes, he said. So. Until then, court is adjourned for a 30 minute recess. Mac. Oh, to be continued, right? right. Give your progress, please do. Second. All right. Override, please do. Let's go for the recess. January 8, 1.21 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. So we are finally going to see the tiger on the stand. Okay, so I think we are done. This is the last day then. But this will probably prove everything. We've almost got this case won now, Nick. I wish I could agree. Huh? When I cross-examined Mr. Armstrong just now, he said he was just doing what the tiger told him to do, right? But Gadot picked up on it, remember? He could be lying. He pointed out that without proof, we don't know if what he testified is the truth. You mean you think Mr. Armstrong was lying? He could be. I don't know, but if that's the line the prosecution takes, we could be in trouble. 
I get the feeling we don't have the case making evidence we are going to need. Gumsh yep, okay, Gumshu. Hey pal. Detective Gumshu. What are you so jumpy about, Detective? Your hair is standing on end. Hey, that's the pot calling the kettle back, little miss top knot. It's not a top knot. As it is. Never mind about the hair, just calm down, alright? What do you got for me? I... I... I can't stand still when I don't have a job to do. I... Can I get wound up? Ah! Well, no kidding. You gotta have something you need me to do, pal. Anything. Find more evidence? Well, um... Hey, I'm gonna take a jog back down to the precinct. I could get some prints analyzed for you if you've got an hour. An hour? The trial will have reconvened by then. But Nick, we still don't have a really decisive piece of evidence, right? The eye medicine. It has unidentified fingerprints, right? True, without some kind of trump card to pull out of the bag, we are really stuck. You said you could get some fingerprint analysis done in an hour? You bet. In that case, would you mind checking the prints on this for me? This, found covered in unidentified fingerprints. This one. If you are going back to the station anyway, could you find out whose prints are on this? Oh hey, that's the small bottle I gave back to you this morning, right? It was already useful. Yeah, I think it's time we solved the last mystery of who the prints on it belong to. Sure thing, pal. Actually, that's been gnawing at me too. Small bottle given to Detective Kamshu. Okay, I'll get this off to the lab right away. Just make sure you don't lose this case before I get back. I mean, I'll try. This is pretty much the final showdown, I guess. Time to separate the phonies from the real guys. That's not as cool as it sounds, as you think it sounded, but... Fine, January 8, 1.56 p.m., District Court, courtroom number 4. Court will now reconvene. Mr. Godot, did you find this Firo Tigre? Coffee time. I even tamed him for you. It was a three cup job. No problem. You gave him three cups of coffee? T tamed him? The guy's name may be Furo Tigri, but come on. He's pretty lively. Be careful. He still bites. Very well. Please show Mr. Tigre to the stand. Here's the killer. And my phony. Um... Witness, please state your name and occupation. Arr. Ah! No, oh, she's gone. Don't hide under the table, Maya. Unless there is room for me down there, too. Then. I, I, uh, what were you... Why you saying to me? No, no, nothing. I didn't say nothing. Honest. Who could have guessed that fear would induce a bad Brooklyn accent in the judge? I got business to take care of, you hear me? So who the hell called me into this hole? Was it you, Spikey? Great. Ah, no, of course not. It was the judge, and he hid. Great. Y your honor? Oh dear, I, um, I seem to have dropped my pen. Where on earth is it? Great. Don't mind me, just carry on with the proceedings as normal. Hiding. That's it. We are doomed. Maybe yours didn't hear me. I said, who the hell was it that called me in here? A dot slammed it. Yep, coffee cup. There's no need to shout. We can all hear you. What do you say?
there is no point struggling you have caught in a snare the relentless snare of the law Good. and i'm the one that hauled you in huh? too cool Good. don't let him get the better of you nick are you still down there let's start with the basics you know about the incident in question correct Incident? I don't know nothing about no stinking incident, mask boy. You mean you didn't attend the previous trial of Maggie Bird? Maggie, who? I've got more important things to do than watch courtroom dramas. Of course. Well, perhaps you could give us your testimony then. Please tell us about what you did on the day of the murder. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Huh? You were the one who set this up, didn't you? You's gonna regret the day you ruffled the tiger's fur. You hear what I'm saying? Go. Maybe I should have bought a diaper with me today? Come on, man. Get a grip, Nick. Yeah. Am I still under the table? So is the judge. Witness testimony. The tiger's alibi. I don't know nothing about no murder. I was tied up with business in December last year. Spent all my time in my office. I got whales lined up to borrow cash from tender lender every single day. You also wanna check my alibi? Just ask Violetta. Okay. Oh, he's back. Ah, at last I found my pen. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, please. He's shouting again. Hard. So. But what is it? Please, witness. If you could refrain from shouting out like that. I know the kinds of games that guy in the blue plays. That low life ain't no lawyer. He just punches away at stupid details till he wins. The low life? Me? Listen up, smarty. Every time you ask me something that doesn't relate to this case, I'm gonna bill you $50,000 and you're gonna borrow the cash from me. Uh, that's one loan contract I refuse to sign. And don't think it ain't gonna hurt when you tangle with the tiger. No coffee time. Ha! Ah, I love a good spectator sport. Just a minute, that's really not. This witness is. How can I put it? A hungry tiger roaming the urban jungle. Get on his bad side and he'll bite everyone's heads off. Yours too. Very well. I have no choice but to impose a penalty system here. What the hell? Yours better be listening. I said I got big business to take care of. Big business. If I don't split now, I ain't gonna catch my bus. The bus. The court will impose a penalty for any irrelevant pressing of witness testimony. Keep that in mind as you begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Bro. Y yes, Your Honor. That's unfair. You can do it, Nick. Come out from under there already, would you, Maggie? Nope. My Maya, sorry, not Maggie. Alright, let's break about his alibi. Only got one shot. I don't know nothing about no murder. We're gonna save here. Now, anything I press is a bad. I was set up with business in December last year, spent all the time in my office. I got wheels lined up to borrow cash from Tender Lender every single day. You just wanna check my alibi, just ask Violetta. That's with something I can do. Viola's medical papers. That doesn't really do it. December 3rd, meet with the tiger. Spend all time in my office. Nah, man. Objection! 
after meeting this guy today, this guy. Your Honor, what do you ask? Uh, think about the witness's statement. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Bro. Press is not really relevant. Are you sure about that? We're talking about one month ago, you know. You see these teeth? That's how sharp my secretary is. Sharp? Is he talking about Viola Cadaver? She writes everything in my scheduler. December. Mainly in the office. That's what it says. So that's where I was. It's mainly. That seems like a rather uh, sketchy scheduler. Car. Oh, he's gone. There he goes again. Hmm. What the tiger did all December isn't the issue. What's important is what he was doing on the day of the murder. So what, now what? Press a little bit. It will cost me. Warriors want. Uh, if you wouldn't mind getting into a bit more detail. Objection. Objection. This is a dead end, right? And you know it. Remember the rules. Objection. No, no. No, it's essential that we establish the witness's alibi accurately. I agree. The victim was killed on December 3rd. Were you in the office that day too? Maybe you ain't listening. Of course I was. I never set foot outside. I had meetings all day with a bunch of cats wanting to do business with me. I ain't never seen that young kid before. I do believe the witness's last statement was important. Um, Mr. Godot, if you could please. Mr. Tigre, the court asks you to add that last statement to your testimony. Ha! <laughs> Don't let an animal beat you. Be a man, Your Honor, and ask him yourself. The day you was talking about, I was in the office too. I never saw that kid before. So now I have evidence to prove the contrary. But let's press anyway just to see. You didn't know Mr. Glenn Elg? Really? I don't mess with the guppies when there are bigger fish to fry. What do you say, boss? Hmm? Who? Me? How's about I hit you with a flat $200,000? Great. I was thinking about purchasing a nice car from Europe. He's seriously considering this. Wow, the Tigers were really good salesmen, huh? Not really. Yeah, and if I want to sell this case, I need to copy him. How about you hit him with a fat piece of evidence, boss? I wish it was that easy. I mean, it is. I got whales lined up to borrow cash from Tender Lender every single day. Hold it. So I take it you get a lot of customers at your black market loan office? It's tough for, a li for the little guys these days. Small businesses are feeling the pinch. Bosses of companies like that want to get in good with me. I'm their best friend. I see. That's very admirable of you, witness. Yeah, well, Tender Lender's motto is win through compromise, you know? Win through compromise? What is that supposed to be? They compromised the client? Compromise the customer to win. That's what it means. You has got it? With best friends like you who need enemies. Here, let me spell it out for you all. You don't pay me back within three days, Spikey. I take what's due and your stupid hair. You follow what I'm saying? Um, but I'm not one of your customers. Should I ask more about Tender Lender or not? Yeah, why not? Press harder. Mr. Tigre, what do you want? 
Uh, if you wouldn't mind getting into a bit more detail. Objection, Objection again. This is a dead end, right? And you know it. Remember the rules. Oh, that was a dead end. Pressing the witness without evidence to back up your attack is prohibited. As I said earlier, the court will impose a penalty for such behavior. Ouch, the pain. Now then, Mr. Tigre. Would you mind repeating your testimony from the beginning, please? My time ain't free, you hear? You better remember that. If I miss that bus, someone's gonna pay. Nah, someone is me. Okay, so we can press him a little and then we will stop. Like, here did I press this? You didn't know, Mr. Glenn. What did you say? Treat you with a fat 200,000. Think of purchasing a car. Okay. I got whales lined up, so we can do this and then not press him. Could I ask more? Leave it. It's too dangerous to press things without knowing where they might end up. I'd better just focus on gathering information at the moment. Now then, Mr. Tigre. Would you mind repeating your testimony from the beginning, please? My time ain't free here, but I remember that. If I miss that bus, someone's gonna pay. Okay, well, not me right now. I don't know nothing about no murder. I set up business, spent all the time in my office, never a kid before. Just ask Violeta. By Violeta, you're talking about the Cadaverny families. Yeah. You don't wanna cross them, or you's gonna end up wind up sleeping with the fishes. Once the Godfather finds out you've been dragging Violeta through the mud, he'll do you in. Hmm. Sorry, I I couldn't quite put it all together towards the end there. He said that just like Viola, didn't he? He did. I get the feeling this might not be the right time to probe him about her. So we leave it. Dangerous. Focus on... That, okay. Guys, uh, let me just save and try and press him to see what happens. Do you wanna see if I can? Hold it. We try, we try, press harder, slam, Mr. Tigre, what do you want, a bit more details and then it's a dead end and you know it, okay. That imposes a penalty, okay. I know nothing about no murder, hold it. I don't buy that you haven't even heard of the incident that occurred at Trebia. Hey, <laughs> you've got a big mouth, right? You was trying to say I was in on some mob hit? Is that what you're trying to say? Where's your proof then? Um, uh, evidence. Yes. Well, for an attorney to make an accusation in court, we must have evidence. That's from Loan Shark to Lawyer, a beginner's guide. Yeah. Ah. I see you're the studious type, Mr. Tiger. Very good. Ha! Why don't you ask him to represent you sometimes, right? Sir, what should I do? We leave it for now. Save, and then we're gonna press him a little bit to see what happens. Probably the same thing that happened last time. Press a little bit, let's see. Objection. The objects, obviously. Then there's the penalty. Okay. Call murder, I started business in December, so that's everything. I never saw, I never saw that kid before. False. 
You get the calendar. He met you. Mr. Tigre. You claim you didn't know Mr. Glenn Elg. But it appears that Mr. Elg knew you. What? Mr. Elg left this little note on his calendar. Meet with the tiger and the date, December 3rd. De December 3rd? That's the day of the murder. So, Mr. Tigre, I submit that you did indeed know one Mr. Glenn Elg. Because on the very day of the incident, you met with him. Uh, he's, he's so red, bro. Ha ha ha! Not bad! He is actually not bad. So his suit is red compared to my blue suit. Yeah. So, sorry? I was just messing with you to see how good you were. Did you hear that, Nick? He said you're not bad. That's one compliment I can do without. Plus, he's lying through his teeth. Um, witness, please remember that you're under oath. Lies will not be tolerated. You're calling me a liar? Is that what you're doing? Ruro. <laughs> so you're saying that your claim to have never seen that kid before is the truth. I said I'm dead serious. You better believe that's the truth. Ha! Then I'd say that gives me time to enjoy another cup of pure black magic. Yep. That is, while you testify for the court again, Mr. Tigre. Oh yes, um, would you mind indulging the court, witness? He never actually met the victim? That's got to be a lie right there. Yeah. It's time I nailed this guy. Yep. The victim, Glenn Elk. Witness testimony. I ain't no liar. I never met Glenn Elk. There was some lame guy with that name though. Wanted to borrow cash from me. I set up a meeting with the guy. At my office. Tender lender. I waited I waited around for him but he never ever but he ain't never yeah I waited around for him but he ain't ever showed I ain't never been to that Trebia joint he's here Oh well that's just a lie cuz I have matches from there in your office I see that all seems perfectly logical You had arranged to meet with the victim but he didn't show up I have heard it's pretty hard to keep appointments when you're dead. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Didn't I tell you I got a big deal going down today? I ain't gonna make my bus now. I'm gonna have to take the express train. That bill's going straight to you, right? Grr. The victim, Glen Elg. So I still have the you can't press him thing. I ain't no liar, I never met Glen Elg. We're gonna save right here, we're gonna try pressing. Start pressing a little bit. And yet, your name was written on the victim's calendar. Get that horse calendar out of my face. I'm the tiger, not a lame horse, you porcupine. Tigers like me eat horses like that for breakfast. No, no, no. Witnesses aren't allowed, permitted to eat evidence. Not that they ever would. Hmm. Well, there was a case once where a young lad ate... That's me. I did that. Uh, anyway. If you had never met the victim before, how do you explain this note he left? Okay. There was some lame guy with that name though. Wanted to borrow cash from me. So you didn't know about him. That's very strange. According to the manager of the firm where the victim worked, 
December 3rd was the day he had to repay his loan. He wasn't due to discuss borrowing money but repaying what he owed. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Whatever it was, it was going down at the beginning of December. So you did meet Mr. Elk then. Hey, right. You might want to cool your jets a sec. I set up a meeting with the guy at my office, Tenderlander. Hold it. So your meeting wasn't supposed to be at Trepia then? Why would I want to go to a dump like that? If I want to talk with my clients, I got an office decked out for the job. I got the best punching bag you ever saw in there. I saw it. Not exactly a professional office you've got there, you know. So you were in your office on the day in question. I waited around for him, but he ain't ever showed. Hold it. He didn't show up. Ha! What do you think, right? Let's see. How does a dead man go from a French restaurant to a loan shark's office? And you yourself didn't go to Trebia. What are you trying to pin on me here? Um, a model. Why don't you just come down to my office? We can chat about this thing my way, yeah? I got the best punching bag you ever saw in there. No, no, no need. I'm good, thanks. Listen up. I ain't got nothing more to say except this. I ain't never even been to that Trebia joint, you see? We have evidence to prove the contrary. Never. Not even once. Not even once. I was in my office the day that went down. I didn't put no poison in no kids coffee. Capish? Hmm. Do you think he really didn't meet Glen Elk? Not likely. Because I'm convinced this guy is behind the whole thing. So you mean that whole testimony he just gave was a lie? Of course. So we can't afford to give him time to think of ways to plug the leak in it. I have got to nail him while I still can. And I can. It's pretty easy, honestly. So we can now press him on everything. No penalty, yeah. Huh? I ain't ever been to Trebia. Okay. Why do you have matches in your freaking office? Mr. Tigre, is there something you'd like to tell the court about these matches? Matches? What you talking about? You found them. In your office at Tender Lender, they are from that restaurant. Wah! If you've really never been to Trebia before, what was a book of the restaurant's matches doing on your desk? You has been snooping around in my stuff now too, white guy. What are you, my ball and chain? Ain't no broad controlling me. We got you. Order, order. Well, witness? I think it's time you started telling us the truth, don't you? Car. No. So sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Forgive me. Great. I ain't no pussy cat. I don't go back on what I said. But okay, I was at the joint that day. Well, what? So he did go back. But listen, good, all right. I might have been there, but I still never met that kid. Well, well. Looks like an order just came in for another testimony. I am this close to proving it was him. He did meet Glen Elk that day. And he did put poison in his coffee. He must have. At Trebia. Yep, yep. We're getting closer. 
I was supposed to meet with that the kid in the restaurant that afternoon. When I opened the door to the joint, I saw one ugly scene. The guy was laid out over the table, stiff as concrete. I figured if the place wasn't hot already, it was gonna be, so I split. I heard the cop sirens on my way out and I went straight back to my office. I see. You didn't actually meet with him in the end then. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Hold it. If I wait around here any longer, I ain't even gonna make the normal express. No more stupid questions. Ha! No problem. Coffee? Anytime Pride presses you on something irrelevant, I'll see he pays a penalty. Okay. But Mr. Gadot, that's my job. Your job is to slam that little hammer of yours and call a guilty verdict. So do it. Y yes, sir. <laughs> the Special Express ain't cheap, right? Just so you know, since you's paying. Oh, man. Doesn't the rule of law mean anything around here? Apparently not. At Trivia. Okay, so now I cannot press anymore again. I was supposed to meet with the kid at the restaurant that afternoon. We have evidence here to show that he did. That we have the MC Bomber CD. A computer virus made by Glenn Elk, potentially worth millions of dollars. Let's try pressing him. So the meeting wasn't due to take place at Tender Lender at all then. The kid was making a fuss about coming into the office. It's always that way when I want to wanna talk about repayments. Even though I've got the best punching bag in there, if you you've ever seen if there are any issues. Maybe it's because of the punching bag that people are scared to come. So that's why you decided to meet at Ray Bia. Objection! Objection. Ha! You're going over old ground again, right? S sorry. Just earned yourself a penalty. Now suck it down. You will suck down the penalty, Mr. Wright, and you will like it. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Great. I can always load back, though, right? So an ugly scene. Let's see what happens here. An ugly scene? What do you mean? Objection! Objection. The witness has already told us, right? Which makes that question irrelevant. B but... I... I limit myself to 17 cups of coffee during a trial. That's the rule. You better limit the number of times you take a penalty, right? Or your guts will look like the inside of a chimney. Asher. Don't make me burn you again, Mr. Wright. I guess I shouldn't have pressed him on that. Guess I'm gonna make that special express after all. So, to recap, this ugly scene you saw was... Guy was laid out stiff as concrete. Go back again. Press him here. You mean you saw Glenn Elk's dead body? I guess I did, but I only saw him from behind. He was wearing some raggedy bit of cloth he called a hat. And what time was this? Ah, important. I don't know. Huh? You know what winds me up more than anything else in the world? Watches. Round watches. I ain't gonna pollute my paws with some ticking henpecker. Out of interest, Mr. Trite, what winds you up the second most? Huh? What do you think? Square watches. This guy for real? 
Look, all I needed to know was that something bad was going down in that place. I figured if the place wasn't hot already, it was gonna be, so I split. Hold it. So you didn't actually set foot inside the restaurant then? The tiger is a busy cat. I don't hang around for no one. I ain't got time to be caught up in no murder investigation. So, when exactly did you pick up the matches? There are matches just inside the front door. Our detective friend wound up in trouble with the chef after taking five books home with the Poor gumshoe. It's almost enough to make a man cry. I heard the cops' sirens on my way out and I went straight back to my office. So we know the time then. You went straight back. Did a bout of guilt suddenly hit you for what you did? What you're trying to say? You trying to tell me you've never been guilty of nothing? Um... We all have our crosses to bear. We all have to swallow the dark secrets we hide. Like this. Great. The courtroom's not exactly the place to talk about dark secrets, is it? Oh no. It seems you've done it again, Mr. Wright. Another irrelevant line of questioning. I must impose a penalty accordingly. How about a penalty for those two jokers and the garbage they keep coming up with? Well, Nick, what do you think? He's running out of ways to avoid the truth. I need to press him fast before he has the time to think things through. I've got to come right back at him with a contradiction. Be careful what you press him on though, or you'll get penalized, okay? Yeah, 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 I know. Do not save. Load me back. We pressed him here and that's fine. So we got the match on the front door. Okay, now here we can save. So now I have pressed him on everything. I've gotten what I could out of it. Now I need to get some evidence to show that he was actually, he did meet with him. Well, in there, book my seat, blueprint, spread of potassium cyanide, time of death between 1.30 and 2.30. One by Maggie, Maggie's fingerprints, victim got from doctor, found it in the lender, computer virus, it has to be the virus, right? Guy was laid out over the table, stiff as concrete. I figured if the place was... The place wasn't hot already, it was gonna be, so I split. I heard the cops' sirens on my way out and I went straight back to my office. Give me a second. Let's see, I gotta go play some Valorant. We'll figure this out when I come back.